Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Wednesday, December 8th. It's great to be with you. Pray you had a great Tuesday yesterday. Uh, we continue to look at this idea of loving all. Uh, Jesus uh, was sent into the world. He was the king of all. He came to die for all. His love is on all. Uh, he uh, came to, and he will redeem and restore all things, a new heavens and a new earth. Uh, his salvation in life is for all people and all nations. Uh, he is uh, here for the poor and the poor in spirit. Uh, uh, and and we, we see him as he lived his life, all right, uh, um, laying down his life so that we could be rich, right? Uh, and, and providing for those who are hurt and sick uh, and, and, and dying and broken and, and so forth. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to read a, a verse, uh, a couple of verses here and, and talk about it, okay? It says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Um, I, I love these words because um, lots of times we say, well, well how, how are we supposed to do these things, you know? And, and if we just open our eyes and see how Jesus lived, how Jesus fed the 5,000 and, and, and said, no, no, you're going to give them something to eat. It wasn't just Jesus doing it. He was teaching his disciples that they were to give them something to eat. They were to care for the hurt. They were to care for the sick. They were to care for the dying. They were to care for the outcast. And then they did it, right? As the Father has sent me, I'm sending you. So this last Sunday, uh, pa Pastor Nathan uh, he, he gave you just a, a, a tool, an idea. Uh, this is the catalog for Samaritan's Purse, and there's so many opportunities in here to practice Christmas this way, to celebrate Christmas this way, by, by loving all through, through providing uh, for, for folks who have such great needs. Uh, and um, and you, you can do this in numerous ways. I mean, you can look through it, but, but also in numerous ways. We talked about spending less. Uh, it doesn't mean we don't buy people gifts and so forth. Uh, hopefully our gifts are more personable are more relationship-centered as well. Um, and, and, and part of that could be uh, the things that you purchase, you let folks know that you purchase them in your name, these gifts that you give to the hurting uh, uh, people of the world. huh? Uh, and, and so I, I just wanted to mention this, because I know Pastor Nathan mentioned it this last Sunday, uh, and if by chance uh, you... Um, you you did not weren't with us or you were able to watch us online i want to make sure we got this in front of you too this week uh and really invite you to do this i'm really excited uh it's always more blessed to give than to receive and it's a way uh, for you to uh, see the example of jesus and put it into practice that's that, that's kind of the idea here whatever you have learned or received or heard from me paul's talking about himself as he went as he lived his life at at the example of Jesus, now he invited others to watch him, right? Uh, and, and so as we look at Jesus and look at those around us who live these giving lives, we're invited to emulate them. Whatever's right, whatever's good, uh, whatever's perfect, whatever's noble, do these things. Think about these things. Practice these things. Uh, this is one way to do that. And, and by the way, when you do this, uh, it, it, let us know what you've done because we, we just want to rejoice and build everyone up uh, that, that we can say, hey, a lot of us took this step, uh, and it's a great thing, and it makes Christmas so much better because we're living out what Christmas is all about. Okay, so I, I, I wanted at least one day uh, this week to hold this thing up, all right? So let's, let's pray. Uh, Father, uh, you change our hearts uh, because you gave us your Son. Your Spirit touches our hearts for the fact that he came not to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. Um, touches our hearts the reality that in him we will be happy and whole for an eternity. Um, and now we, um, we get to bless others with this same light that we know, the light of Christmas. Lord, show us how to do this um, and, and fill our hearts with joy. We pray in your name. Amen. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, may God be with you.